स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स चैप्टर नाइन डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन एंड इनवर्स प्रपोर्शन प्रैक्टिस सेट थर्टी नाइन डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस प्रैक्टिस सेट यू हैव सॉल्व सम बेस्ड ऑन डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन एंड इनवर्स प्रपोर्शन नाउ इन दिस प्रैक्टिस सेट थर्टी नाइन लेट्स लर्न अबाउट पार्टनरशिप वेन स्टार्टिंग अ बिजनेस एंटरप्राइज मनी इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एन ऑफिस raw materials etc this amount is called the capital often two or more people put in money for the capital in other words these people start a business by investing in the partnership in a business partnership all partners have a joint account in a bank the profit made or the loss incurred is shared by the partners in proportion to the money each one has invested so now let us solve sums based on partnership practice set 39 question 1 suresh and ramesh together invested 144000 rupees in the ratio 4 is to 5 and bought a plot of land after some years they sold it at a profit of 20% what is the profit each of them got so here we have the total investment then the ratio in which they invested and the profit earned so let's write down what we have already got in the question so the solution total investment is equal to rupees 1 lakh 44000 profit earned is equal to 20% so here you can see the profit earned in percentage to find it in rupees we have to write down as total profit is equal to 20% of the entire investment 20% of investment how do you write it 20% means 20 upon 100 of means multiplied by 144000 so total profit is 20% of 144000 which is equal to 20 upon 100 into 144000 00 gets reduced 20 multiplied by 1440 gives us rupees Twenty-eight thousand eight hundred. Proportion of investment of Suresh and Ramesh is given as four is to five. Let the profit of Suresh be equal to rupees four x, and that of Ramesh be rupees five x. So we have assumed it to be four x and five x here. We have to form an equation for this. So our equation will be when we add their profits. we know the total profit is given which we already have it here we have found the total profit in rupees so 4x plus 5x is equal to 28800 is our equation that is profit of suresh plus profit of ramesh is equal to 28800 therefore we get 9x is equal to 28800 x is equal to 9 gets divided so 28800 divided by 9 is equal to 3200 3200 is the value of x when we substitute it with 4x and 5x the value of x we will get how much pro profit each one of them earned so the other part of the sum suresh's profit is equal to 4x means 4 into 3200 is equal to rupees 12800 ramesh's profit is equal to 5x is equal to 5 into 3200 is equal to rupees 16000 therefore the profit earned by suresh and ramesh are rupees 12800 and rupees 16000 respectively so what we did here first we found the profit in rupees then we formed a equation 4x plus 5x is equal to the profit which we found in rupees, and found the value for x. Then we substitute the value for x for Suresh profit and Ramesh profit. So this is how we have completed our question number one. Question two: Virat and Samrat together invested fifty thousand and one lakh twenty thousand rupees to start a business. They suffered a loss of twenty percent. How much loss did each of them incur? Now, 
the total investment we can find out easily by adding the investment done by both and loss is given so let's have a look at the solution total investment is equal to rupees 50000 plus rupees 120000 is equal to rupees 170000 that means 170000 is a total investment what percentage is given to us loss loss incurred is equal to 20 percent so to find the total loss we will have to solve it 20 percent of 170000 that is the total investment so 20 percent of 170000 how do we write it 20 upon 100 into 170000 reduce the number of zeros 17 to the 34 and 3 zeros. So 34,000 is the total loss incurred. Now we have the proportion of investment. Proportion of investment is equal to 5,000 is to 12,000. Virats and Samrats investment. When you reduce the number of zeros, you get it equals to 5 is to 12 dividing by 10,000. Now, we have to take it to be 5x and 12x. So, how you write your statement? Let the loss incurred by Virat be rupees 5x and that by Samrat be rupees 12x. Now, it's a time to form the equation. 5x plus 12x is equal to 34,000. Therefore, 17x is equal to 34,000. 34,000 is the loss. So, x is equal to 34,000 divided by 17 is equal to 2,000. Since we have got the value of x, we can now find out how much loss each of them incurred. So, Virat's loss is equal to 5x, which we had already taken. So, 5x is equal to 5 into x value is 2,000 is equal to rupees 10,000. And Samrat's loss is equal to 12x is equal to 12 into 2000 is equal to rupees 24000 therefore the loss incurred by virat and samrat are rupees 10000 and rupees 24000 respectively so you have to do this in the steps as shown to you in this video question number 3 shweta piyush and nachiket Together invested 80,000 rupees and started a business of selling sheets and towels from Solapur. Shweta's share of the capital was 30,000 rupees and Piyush's 12,000. At the end of the year, they had made a profit of 24%. What was Nachiket's investment and what was his share of the profit? So, first question is we have to find Nachiket's investment. That can be easily done if we subtract from the total the investment of Piyush and Shweta. Total investment is given 80,000 rupees and Shweta's and Piyush is also given. So, first we will subtract from the total the investment done by Piyush and Shweta. So let's have a look at the solution. Total investment is equal to rupees 80,000. So Nachiket's investment will be equal to total investment minus in bracket we have Shweta's investment plus Piyush's investment is equal to 80,000 minus Shweta's is 30,000 plus Piyush's 12,000. Add and you will get 42,000. So, this is equal to 80,000 minus 42,000 which is equal to rupees 38,000. You have to do your rough work. Now, profit earned is equal to 24%. Therefore, we have to find in rupees how much profit. 24% of the total 80,000 is equal to 24 upon 100 into 80,000. Reduce the zeros. And multiply you get your answer rupees 19,200 as the total profit so we have finished the first part now let's have a look at the remaining part of the sum proportion of investment of all three of them is equal to 
थर्टी थाउजेंड इज टू ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड इज टू थर्टी एट थाउजेंड इन ऑर्डर ऑफ श्वेता पीयूष एंड नचिकेत सो डिवाइडिंग बाय टू थाउजेंड सिंस वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व द नंबर्स इन बिग नंबर्स लाइक इन थाउजेंड्स वी कैन इजिली डिवाइड इट एंड रिड्यूस सो डिवाइडिंग बाय टू थाउजेंड थर्टी थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाय टू थाउजेंड यू गेट फिफ्टीन ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड वेन यू डिवाइड बाय टू थाउजेंड यू गेट सिक्स and 38000 dividing by 2000 you get 90 so now the proportion of investment is 15 is to 6 is to 19 after reducing now we can assume let the profit of shweta piyush and nachiket be rupees 15x for shweta 6x for piyush and 19x for nachiket respectively now we can form a equation 15x plus 6x plus 19x is equal to the what is 19200 it is the profit which they have earned which we found out here total profit is equal to rupees 19200 so we have got a equation now on adding it we get 40x is equal to 19200 so x is equal to 19200 divided by 40 is equal to 480 nachiket's profit is equal to we know nachiket is 19x the third one so 19x is equal to 19 into 480 is equal to 9120 so we got both the answer for nachiket which are asked in the question Nachiket's investment is rupees thirty eight thousand and his profit is rupees nine thousand one hundred and twenty. Question four: A and B shared a profit of twenty four thousand five hundred rupees in the proportion three to seven. Each of them gave two percent of his share of the profit to the Soldiers' Welfare Fund. What was the actual amount given to the fund by each of them? so here we have profit shared in rupees and the proportion and 2% of that profit is given to soldiers welfare fund so let's have a look at the solution proportion of share is equal to 3 is to 7 so let the profit of a and b be rupees 3x and 7x respectively our equation will be 3x plus 7x is equal to 24500 which is the profit given in rupees 10x is equal to 24500 therefore x is equal to 24500 divided by 10 is equal to 2450 that means profit earned by a is equal to 3x 3x is 3 multiplied by 2450 is equal to rupees 7350 now we got the profit earned by a now we want to know what was the actual amount given to the fund so let's see amount given by a is equal to 2% of his profit so 2 upon 100 into 7350 is equal to rupees 1147 similarly profit earned by b is equal to 7x so substitute the value of x Seven into two thousand four hundred and fifty is equal to seventeen thousand one fifty, and now amount given by B is also two percent of his profit. So two upon hundred into his profit was seventeen thousand one fifty, which gives us rupees three hundred and forty three. Therefore, the amount given by A and B to the Soldiers Welfare Fund are rupees one hundred and forty seven and rupees three forty three respectively. last question question number 5 jaya seema nikhil and nilish put in together 3 lakh 60000 rupees to form a partnership with their investment being in the proportion 3 is to 4 is to 7 is to 6 what was jaya's actual share in the capital they made a profit of 12% how much profit did nikhil make so there are two different questions let's have a look at the solution we will write first what we have got total investment is equal to rupees 360000 
profit earn is equal to 12 percent so now we can find the total profit in the rupees so total profit is equal to 12 percent of the total amount that is 12 percent of 36,000 3,60,000 12 percent of 3,60,000 means 12 upon 100 into 3,60,000 reduce the number of zeros and multiply you will get 43,200 as total profit. Now proportion of investment is 3 is to 4 is to 7 is to 6. So let the investment of Jaya which is 3, Seema, Nikhil and Nilish be rupees 3x, 4x, 7x and rupees 6x respectively. Now we can easily form our equation. 3x plus 4x plus 7x plus 6x is equal to 3,60,000 which is the total investment. So the investment of Jaya, Seema, Nikhil and Nilish we have added and written it as equal to the total investment. Now 20x is equal to 20x is equal to 3,60,000 therefore x is equal to 3 lakh 60,000 upon 20. X is equal to 18,000. Since we have found the value of X, we are going to have a look at the question what is asked in the question. In the question, they have asked us what was Jaya's actual share in the capital and how much profit did Nikhil make. So, Jaya's investment is equal to 3X. So, 3 into 1, 18,000 is equal to 54,000. Now, profit made by them is rupees 43,200. Therefore, 3x plus 4x plus 7x plus 6x is equal to 43,200. This is our equation for profit. Therefore, 20x is equal to 43,200. x is equal to 43,200 upon 20 which is equal to 2160. Now in the question we want to find out only Nikhil's profit which is 7x. So 7 into 2160 is equal to rupees 15,120. So we got both the answers. Jaya's share in the capital was rupees 54,000 and the profit made by Nikhil was rupees 15,120. So this way we have completed our practice set 39. Do practice the sums well in your book. Stay safe, keep learning and thank you.